What's up, YouTube? Brushstrokes here, just bringing you another unboxing video. Uh, I got a package from my friends over at Spray Guns Direct over in the UK. I did order this on a Thursday, the 3rd, the day before the 4th of July. And it came today, on Tuesday, the 7th of July. Once again, lightning fast shipping from the UK. So, let me cut all the tape off here. And they do do a very well, good job of taping these boxes. I actually got a couple of new spray guns. There they are. So, First off, let's start out with this. This is the ANI F1 slash N Super S. Uh, US dollars, this was $60. Um, I did get the 2.0. Um, I need to do some work on my car, so I got some primer and no primer gun. So that's what this is gonna be used for, either primer and or maybe some flake as well in the future yeah it comes with the instruction manual here it's like in a bunch of different languages got her cup feels pretty decent yeah. Let's check out the gun. Well, first off, there's oil, which is kind of consistent with cheap guns. So we'll definitely want to break this thing down all the way first thing. Get all that, any oil or grease packing stuff that they had in there. But yeah, this is the gun. It looks all right. That's kind of weird. It's got the where normally like an air control valve would be or more body at a gun. I guess the air control on these are up top here. So, but yeah, it feels decent. It doesn't feel cheap like a Harbor Freight gun or anything. Let's take the cap off here. I don't know, it feels pretty nice for as cheap as it is. You can see some... Uh, you can see how it's kind of cheaply made. A little bit of coating coming off there already. No biggie. But yeah, the machining inside here doesn't look too bad. Both the holes look even. Let's take a look at this nozzle. That's basic A and I design. I guess I only have the A and I R one fifty before this, um, but yeah. The reason I like these A and Is they're typically low air consumption guns, so they do work very well with smaller compressors so i just got a 30 gallon compressor but yeah i'm excited to use this thing comes with this little wrench too kind of weird looking i've never seen one like that but yeah so yeah that's that one let's get this put back together i will do a review on this too i looked all over youtube and couldn't find a review on this gun at all so maybe i just missed it but yeah i'm excited to use it so now let's get on to the next gun now this is the newest and i am pretty sure it is the R160Q. Uh, 
This is not the, I think it is F-160, is the full-size A&I gun. This is the new mini gun. This is replacing the R-150Q. Um, all that Spray Gunner Direct site says is this is a new and improved version of it. Um, it, it does have a little bit of a different design on here, so... I should have probably grabbed my other one to compare it to, which I think I might run and do that here in just a second. So, again, manuals, cup, I'm sure it's the same one as my other one. Same kind of cleaning tools and with the R150. Keep that in there for spares. And here is the gun. And yeah, size, size wise, it feels about the same. Let me put you on hold here a second, and I'm going to run and grab the other one, the R150, and we'll compare them side by side. Be right back with you. All right, I am back. So, here is the new gun, the R160. And here is the R150 that it is replacing. So, a second to get you framed up right here. So, first thing you can notice is some difference in the design. Um, over on my right side here, the R160 has this little... Um, I don't even know what that is, but that little extra piece up here, that is how the full-size A&I gun is, the F-160. So looks like it kind of took over some of the design elements of the full-size gun. Um, and then back here, we got a little different of a, this is your air control. So this valve is a little bit different than the R-150. Um, oops, still got some thinner in it. Whoops. Yeah, these ones have actually have like the plugs on the bottom here, unlike the cheaper gun that I just showed you before. The I don't know what that model is, the FF1N. But yeah, these are my two brand new guns. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to put this one to use. Um, I'm pretty wet around the ears when it comes to painting, so. I don't have a lot of comparison, but I will try to compare these two to see if there is any spraying difference. Uh, spray gun, like I said, Spray Guns Direct just said that this is an improved version of this gun. So um, the only thing I see really is you know design change. Let's pop this off actually. See if the nozzle's the same. And the ants. This is pretty much basically the same nozzle. As far as parts go, um, it, Spray Guns Direct did not have a parts list on the listing for this gun, but I'm sure it's the same parts as the R150 in the prior version of this. Here, let's just pop this one off too, just so you guys can see. basically basically identical so yeah but i will um probably be i don't really have anything to clear coat for a little while yet so it'll probably be a while before i use this but uh i think i'm gonna make this my new dedicated clear gun um this was my dedicated clear gun um and then i was using my iwata lph 80 you know for my paint I do use a water-based paint. Um, I did use this a couple times with my water base to see what it was like um, spraying water-based paint. Um, it is pretty good. I was pretty happy with how it came out. And it does put down a lot more paint than my Iwata LPH-80. So I kind of wanted something um, a little bigger for laying down my base coats and my, my Createx water-based paint. So I'm going to get this one cleaned up and this will be used for my water-based paints and then this will be dedicated clear gun so and then this one will never have had water-based products through it as well 
So, but yeah, that's all I really had for you today. All right, so I just got done watching the first part of this video back, and I did notice some differences in these guns and did notice a few other issues with the new gun as well. So let's break that down here for you. So air cap. First thing I noticed watching this back. Actually, I noticed something else. And, and when I took the air cap off, I noticed a difference. Let me get in focus here. This is the R150, the old version. Check out this side, how that is. And this is also two-piecer. So, there's that air cap. Now, here's the new version. Looks almost the same. Except for right here, the little snap ring. This one has a snap ring to keep it together. And then on the inside, it's also got this little nylon or PTFE or Teflon washer on there and it actually makes it smoother. It's not like a metal on metal, you know, spinning in here. And actually when you put it on the gun as well, it's, it feels a lot smoother. You don't get the metal to metal, but we can also see different design in here, this little extra ring in there. So let's get them side by side so you can see the differences. Let's see if I can get a focus on both. All right, so, so here's the old one on the left here. And as you can see, that see that little uh, bevel in the center on this one and the bevel on the center on the new one, the bevel is a little bigger. And then how the d air distribution inside of this is different. The new one here on the right side has this little ring here that, uh, you know, separates the air that goes to the horns on the outside to the air that goes in the center of it. And then this one kind of does it a little different. This one actually uses the nozzle, so i kind of show you the difference. So let's, I'll see, see these nozzle. Let me get these in camera for you if I can. There we go. So the old one's kind of rounded on the end there, so it meets up with the air cap and kind of creates that seal from the inner and outer rings of air for the air horns or the center of the air cap. And then this one's got, you know, it's more flat. You know, it's got the flat edge on it. So, you know, this one, that one with the, this one has that ring in it. So that ring must just made up flat up against that to separate the air between those two. So, uh, yeah, that's the note. That's the big difference I noticed. Um, and then let's get let's put these back together here. This is the old one. So actually, I did kind of. I don't have a micrometer, but. This diameter on this, um, you know, between the nozzle and the air cap, it looks bigger on the new one than it does on this one, just by a hair. But I can't say for sure. But then I was putting, actually, let's take this off quick. And I went to put the nozzle on this one, and then went to put the nozzle on this one. I kind of didn't realize in the first video there's quite a big difference there on the outside ring there you can see twice as many holes for air so um, i'm assuming that's going to create some better atomization um, what else there's something else different i thought oh yeah something else different about these nozzles can you see the wrench size on them. The new one's got a bigger, bigger nozzle. 
And guess what it came with? A spanner or a wrench that does not fit. I went and grabbed my old, or my wrench from the R150, and they're, they're identical. So the new R160 has a bigger size wrench fitting on here. But, so, but lucky for me, my wrench for my new my F1N, actually one of these actually fits on here. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one fits on here. So I have not even broken this down yet, so we're going to do this together. Let's see what we got inside since I noticed some big differences there. Wow, it's tight. Oh, there we go. Man, that was tight. Alright, I'm already noticing something else different. This has I got this no there we go. This has flush edges. And this one's no old one's got like an angled round edge. So that's another little difference that I just noticed. And let's see what this looks like inside. Probably should have took the needle out first. Um, I've got a I've got a used gun here. Or huh. Yeah, it feels like paint. Looks like paint. That's not good. I'm not very happy about that. Is that... Looks kind of dirty. Let's take this apart on... Oh, I got that crappy oil on there. Give me a second here. Let's put this all sorts of oil on the back of these needles. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Come on, focus. I would say that is paint. It looks like there's paint all up in threads too. This is from the UK, so that's an international phone call. Fun fun. Yep, there's paint up in here too. Well that's not good. So might be a while before I review one of these again or get to use it so a second well that sucks let's check the paint cut it doesn't look like the paint cup was used but it sure looks like this gun has been used well That's not good. Well, I'm going to contact, uh, I'm going to try to email them and t have them call me so I ain't got to pay for international phone call. But yeah, that's not good. That definitely looks like a used gun. So, I'm not very happy. And I don't know if you're able to see in there. There's all sorts of crap in here. There's paint or something's been put through it. There's black stuff everywhere. That's definitely paint. Yeah. So, sorry for the little rant and ramble. I'm kind of upset, so. 
But anyway, other than that, I mean, what can you do? Oh well, they're they're good people. Well, they'll take care of this situation, so I will get a hold of them. And yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna post a video or not. Um, I kind of want to to get some content out there. So um, nothing against spray guns direct. You know, this could have came from A and I that way, uh, and I'm sure they'll definitely take care of this. So. Uh, and I will let you know about that when I probably shouldn't have wiped that off before I took pictures for them. Maybe I'll just shoot them this video. Anyway, but yeah, so that's all I had for you today. Um, I hope you enjoy. And hit that like, subscribe, and the little bell notification so you can get updates when I post new videos um, or when I review this new R160 gun or review the new ANI F1N gun. I really appreciate you stopping by. Until next time, keep those brushes stroking.